is Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with my next layout in the For Love of Homemade Kits series. And so in this series that I am doing with Hannah, Megan, Sarah, and Felicia, we are taking a common inspiration piece and a recipe that we have in common and creating a kit from our stash. And you can find the link down below if you haven't had a chance to look at everything that is in my kit for this month. And then each week in September you will see me creating a project with it. And then I also have the links down below so you can check out the projects that the other ladies created. Um, so what you saw me doing right there is I took the 6x6 Amy Tangerine paper pad and used it to create a sort of a grid layout across the strip that's on my that's going to be on my page. So I combined one of the pieces from the ephemera pack that says we are better together. And then I have five different squares from different pattern papers in that pattern paper pad. And then I also have a 4x4 four four photo of my daughter, as well as two of the smaller photos. They aren't quite 2x2. Two two. I think I did them more like 1 and 3 quarters by 1 and 3 quarters, just because I wanted to have a little bit of white space in between. And then I went ahead and cut that entire strip out, and I am backing it with some of the 12x12 12 12 pattern papers to create a border. And I also backed the photo of my daughter with some of the black and white polka dot paper that was also from that paper pad. And then I kind of cheated on this layout. I went back to my stash for a couple of things. So those little pieces of ephemera are from Act October afternoon, the Saturday morning collection. And I went back and grabbed those out of my stash because I knew that that guest check was perfect for this layout. Because this is a layout about my daughter and I um, going out to dinner, having like a mother-daughter date. Um, because uh, her dad went back to a night schedule at work for a few weeks. So that allowed us the opportunity to have some girl time to where we could go out to eat and do some fun things together. And so that's what this layout is going to talk about. So now what I have done, and part of our kit this month was to include some hand lettering. So I did do the hand lettering on this word, yum. And then I went ahead and used my paper piercer to go around the edges, and then I stitched around it with just some white embroidery thread. And now I'm going back and I'm taking my watercolors, and I'm watercoloring in the middle. And I did this after I had already stitched because I wanted the color to appear on some of those stitches and not all of them. So you'll notice how that adds a different dimension to the stitching when the embroidery thread absorbs some of the color. So if you don't want that look, you'd want to do the watercolor before you did the stitching. But because I wanted my stitching to show some of that color and that extra dimension, I went ahead and did it after. And there you see I'm adding in some of the pink and the yellow that's also on this layout so that I get kind of a fun marbled look throughout all of those, all of those letters in the word yum. And that's going to go with the rest of the kind of embellishments I'm putting in this little area. So once I have that done, I'm adding this word totally. And then I'm also adding this little acetate pineapple. And then I just went back to my different ephemera pieces and I pulled out a couple little hearts and a banner there on the bottom. Those ice cream cones actually came from one of the Project Life cards from the Fine and Dandy collection that I had put in this kit. And then I also was kind of bad and broke the rules and went back to my stash and pulled out those Amy Tan Puffy stickers because the Dear Lizzie set that I had just didn't quite have the, the symbols I was looking for. And then while I was in my stash, I also grabbed these Tim Holtz black uh, letter stickers or phrase stickers because I wanted to have some of those in each one of my clusters to add some of that, um, just a touch of black. And I also traced around my stitching to add a touch of black to the title to make it stand out a little bit more. So the phrases you're seeing me use up there in the top, it says find joy in the ordinary. And then I have just because over the photo of my daughter. And then I'm layering up three of them down there by my title. There's beauty and simplicity, choose to see the good stuff, and you can never have too much happy. And then the one on the bottom just says stay simple. And now I'm adding that black line detailing around pretty much all of my ephemera, my pattern paper blocks, and the outside of the layout. And then I come in with my Heidi Swap Color Shine and add some splatters of color throughout my different embellishment clusters. And that is basically going to do it for this layout. I go back and add some journaling later, but otherwise this is going to be it. This is a really fun look with a lot of little scraps of paper. Um, sort of a take on a grid layout. 
Um, but definitely really fun, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you click below to check out the other ladies' layouts this week, and make sure you come back next week for the next layout that I create with this kit. Bye!